Learning occurs everywhere, and we haven't thought a lot about how to design the environments in which human beings are supportive of the fact that they're likely to be engaged in learning activities. So a lot of classrooms are designed to support a kind of teaching that has gone on in classrooms for hundreds of years. A teacher is at the front of a group of students, all of whom are facing forward, and their job is mostly to listen. And many theorists think schooling would be much better if learners were much more actively engaged in the work. We have a real challenge in that we have a lot of classrooms that are very traditional. There really is no flexibility there, and the teacher really is locked in to one particular way of teaching, and the students really are locked into one particular type of classroom experience. Many people think that engaged learning for students means the teacher gets out of the way. That's a very simplistic way of understanding the role of the teacher. Getting young people to do something really serious is actually really hard work. Change is occurring. Universities are starting to evolve to support the change in pedagogies. And to do so, you need to implement collaboration in the classroom. We have faculty who are going out to the web, pulling up videos, using social media, and really bringing all of that into the classroom so that it isn't just that faculty member providing a lecture, students passively taking notes but rather really engaging the students and that the technology then becomes the tool for that. So it's been really important to try a variety of furniture setups as well as have that flexibility to change the setup on the fly. We're able to really explore and engage the students and involve the students in a variety of ways. Try to meet that challenge of the constraints of the space where we're not gonna be able to build new classrooms all the time. So I think the ideal classroom configuration would be one in which there was a lot of flexibility, where the students can see each other, and where discussion is possible. Another feature of the ideal classroom would be to have lots of public surface for writing. Those are writing surfaces that have some of the flexibility that's desirable in the same way that the seating ought to have that same kind of flexibility. I hope that in the coming decade or two that we see the need to study how technology and how the physical environment, how furniture, how space play in the way that that instructional dynamic takes place.